put it at the copyright section? That's better. What is up, everybody? Joel up here, and welcome to a Let's Play that's gonna be out of nowhere, basically. I'm just doing this. I'm just doing this. This is all I already gotta say. I need to do this game. This is Pokemon Silver, which is one of my favorite Pokemon games in the entire series. And it might be nostalgia just grabbing me right now, but that's just how I feel about this game. It's actually the first game I ever bought when I was like little, and I basically was attached to this game, so I'm about to play it right now. I know I can play Crystal, I might do that eventually, but for now, welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go and get ready for the intro. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by Merrills. They must all die. Die of fiery doom and death and gloom and hellfire and brimstone. No, you're about to Oak. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are very mystery. There are still mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. And my name is... I, I might as well do this in lowercase so people aren't yelling at me. Joe Dub, yes, I don't remember your name now. This is my grandson. I don't remember his name either. <laughs> we'll be seeing him very, 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 very later in the game. Speaking of his grandson. So, like we always do in Pokemon, let me grab the po- What? The potion is not in this game? Blasphemy! This is Pokemon Treason! <laughs> but, uh, some I'll get used to. Hey. And here's our mom going to talk to us. And by the way, po Professor Oak is not the main professor in his... He just happened to hop the spotlight. For this one time, he's like, I do the, the intro, not you! The way explains Birch. <laughs> By the way, we got the Pokey Gear, which is very different from Gen 1, and this is pretty sweet. This is before we had our, you know, internal clocks for Gen 4 and stuff like that. But for now, we're just gonna set the time and stuff like that. And this is the funny one. If you say yes or no, she's just gonna tell you anyway. And basically, she's just asking you this as a question. So she says, don't you just turn the Pokey Gear on and set the Pokey icon on the phone icon? Hmm? Yes, you do. Isn't that convenient? Yes, it is. Well, what happened, Confine, if you said, oh, you know, so I'm just gonna leave. Now, where's my volcano baked meat? Volcano baked meat. <laughs> no, I'm gonna actually just talk to everybody real quick just so you can see what was going on. Yo, Joda, I heard Professor Elm discover some new Pokemon. Tenage is crabble. What? Nothing. <laughs> so. Anyway, your Poke gets oppressive. Did your mom get it for you? By the way, if you try to leave, this is what happens. Wait, Jodub. Where do you think you're going? Or where do you think you're going? It's dangerous to go out of a Pokemon. Why well, Pokemon jump out of the grass on the way to the next town? I'm not gonna give you a Pokemon, because I'm not the professor. Where is Oak at? So this is the famous Elm Lab. What are you staring at? And he kicks me in the face. Yes, we're playing a Pokemon game where I get kicked in the face. This is already a great start. Okay, Pikachu's a love Pokemon amazed by Professor Elm's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon Evolution. I wish I could be a researcher like him. Not really, because then Oak is going to come out of nowhere in his walker by that point and just be like, I'm going to do the intro for Pokemon Toop is Red and stuff like that. I would imagine he would too. Now let's go see Professor Elm, the actual professor in this game. So here we are. Shut up, there you are. I need to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon, of course. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's damn real. 
But we're intriguing. It's intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. And he's gonna give me a Pokemon as a a, a bribe. Please do it. No, I, I'm kind of busy right now. I'm just staring at things in my, inside my room where my non-existent potions at. Where I'm going? I'm going back home. No, there's a redheaded boy be behind you in, inside his window. How's that pleasant breeze blowing in? Isn't there some guy around here? My, re look, my reflection looking good. Anyway, we have three Pokemon here. We have Cyndaquil. If I can keep going. Not yet. Oh, I spoiled it. <laughs> we have Totodile. The water Pokemon. And we have Chikorita. Now, with my experience with Gen 2, I've raised all three. Well, mainly the one I actually raised the most was actually Totodile, which is kind of the swerve for the whole thing, but... I'm gonna make this kind of a casual run. I'm, I'm basically gonna play it the way I would usually play a game where I don't care about typing. I'm gonna pick one of my favorite, my favorites, all of the stuff like that. I don't wanna think during this whole thing right now. It's, so it's gonna be a casual run. It's not really gonna be an LP of sorts. So I'm gonna nickname you something, maybe. Not right now. But if you have nickname suggestions, you can leave them in the comment section. It's going to be casual enough that I will let you pick my Pokemon's names. So, yep. Make sure to put something up there. Or maybe I'll do a video like I did, but I did it on my old channel. I was like, oh, I made a separate video. So, here is the aid to give us the potion that he stole from my computer. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, stole it from my computer, huh? Well, I can fix that right now. Ah, starting the game brand new. So let's go inside the PC and grab our potion. Isn't this great? Starting the game out all tradition and stuff. Doesn't that feel much better than starting it out with no potion? Hmm? Deefs. Speaking of deefs, there goes that guy who kicks me in the face again. Anyway, we're gonna head off to Cherry Grove City. And possibly face off against some Pokemon, which we will, <laughs> of course. And my plan with this is I'll cut out battles. I'll cut out battles I'm not really interested in facing, but for the most part, I'll try to do them. And basically, once I'm gonna cut out, I'll just speed up or something like that. But you won't see it. I'll just speed it up for my my convenience, which is what I usually did. Sometimes it was all weird. Like, Pokemon for me has been a weird, weird, a weird adventure because one channel started out with Pokemon, ended with Pokemon, basically, I never finished the LP, stuff like that. It, it's been weird. But, I'm gonna head up here to show you another item we can get and face off against another Pokemon. A ho -Hoot, which is the knight equivalent of Pidgey. Basically, once we kill him, ho hoots a eh. They're both eh. Pidgeys are always eh. They're always gonna be eh. Woohoo's are more slightlier eh. Not as bad as Pidgey. <laughs> Basically, so that just qualifies as an eh. So let's take this out real quick and get my item that I want. Hoo hoo. If you don't hurry up and die. Hurry up, please. I need to go. Thank you. I was trying to hopefully find out our, our legendary Pokemon of the grass here, but we'll get him in a second, I guess. Well, we won't get him because we don't have Pokeballs yet, but I'm not capturing it. <laughs> All right, is this it? If not, I'm gonna cut it. So off screen, we learned smoke screen. Off screen, smoke screen, eh. No, but we are learned smoke screen and I'm not gonna keep it for. <laughs> it's only here now because I haven't learned my fourth move. Once you learn fourth move, four moves, you can delete a move, so that's when I'll delete it. So now we got berries in, this, in these trees, so every day you can go inside a tree like this and grab yourself a berry. So we'll be doing that a lot. I don't really use them after a while, but it's good for a side quest you can do to get something better than potions. That's for sure. And I grabbed two of them already, 
so let's talk to this guy. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. It's okay, everyone's a rookie at some point. Well, I'm always insulted by that. If you like, I can teach you a few things. Sure. Because you're gonna give me something, right? This is the Pokemon Center. You hear your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot. So you better learn about them. And thank God, it's free. It's all free. If we had to pay for it, we'd be screwed. <laughs> Every day having to pay for it. America can learn by that. Eh, eh, eh. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their prize Pokemon there. They're the legendary Pokemons of the, the grass, right? This is the sea, as you can see. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> Some Pokemon can be found only in water. And then last but not least, which is going to be kind of creepy. Here. It's my house. Telling a 10 year old boy that's kind of weird. Let me give you a small gift, which is a map card. Which means we no longer have to put it inside our a bag. Until next generation, which goes completely backwards. <laughs> Until they get a Poke Mouth. That is true. It wasn't as bad. They did go slightly backwards though. <laughs> So I was kind of wrong on what I said, but it still kind of went backwards. Also, I don't know how long I'm going to try to make these videos. If you do got kind of a suggestion of what I should do with that, hey, leave me that in the comment section. And we got another berry. And if we go inside here, we'll be getting another berry. Also, if you go in here during Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the remix of this game, you'll get a berry box where you can get berries <laughs> again. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it's Apricorn Box. I'm wrong. Again. Alright, back to the game. Alright, so I'm gonna talk to him real quick. Mr. Pokemon, so it's a bit further ahead. Now, we are actually not supposed to go up here because. Go, Ranta! Tackle! This is a big battle. Leave me alone! Okay. They're using their legendary Pokemon, which are probably gonna break this forest at any time. So I'm gonna go to Prince Pokemon before they blow up <laughs> the, the, for, the whole forest. <laughs> They're Rattataz of, the, of the, the grass. Non classy of me, but remember, casual run, I can qualify it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't do that again. I just had something to say, I just wanted to speed up real quick, but yeah, I don't like doing speed ups during the recording. You, you really shouldn't be seeing that. <laughs> anyway, here's most of Pokemon. And he gives us a mystery egg. Interesting. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm's the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. Oh, there's Professor Oak. Wonderful. Of course. I've seen you in intro. Don't I like having seen you before. You know my name. Rare Pokemon. Pokemon are your friends. Yes, I am. Yes, the Pokedex, awesome. Does this mean I finally get to get Pokeballs? Does this mean I get, finally get to get Pokeballs, please? I'm counting on you. Of course. Also, the cool thing about Mr. Pokemon is he actually kills us from up here. So now we get to do that. So before I go... Hey, you showed up, it's a disaster! It's just terrible! What should I do? Oh no! Get back here now! Yes, something happened to Professor Elm. Something I should care about, but I don't. I'm gonna save. I don't know why I'm saving like this, what I just got save states, but hey, next time on Pokemon Silver, you will find out what's wrong with Professor Elm. Maybe his favorite show got cancelled. Oh, I did that again. This is, this is gonna be fun. There we go. Anyway, until next time, it's been Jellup, and I will see you all later. Have a good day, everybody.